Hey, look, we've got attic raptor joists. It's coming together. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. You know, I have to admit, when I started thinking about this house, I didn't really give a lot of consideration to the upstairs, but the more we got involved in the design, I kept thinking, wow, there's so much square footage up here, and that's how we're making our goal of 1,650 square feet. This upstairs makes a big difference. Now, we changed the roof pitch from an original 10 by 12 pitch to one that's a little steeper, a 12 by 12, and what that allowed us to do was to create greater space up here. So these rafter joists Tony just put in, so this marks the bottom of the ceiling. So I have a full eight foot drop from here to here. So it's the height of a ceiling in a standard house. Now, the other thing we figured out, we blocked in this whole end down here, and this is gonna become a really great little office. So if you think about it, we got this hall that's gonna run down this side, the south side of the house. So I've got all this open space, just step in here. Now it doesn't have the floor in yet. He's using that standard flooring system that'll come across here. And just below us is the main sort of family room of the house. And I'm gonna leave these beams exposed. And we're gonna work out how to make them more beam-like. Cause right now they're really just serving as a uh, floor joist. Now this is the flooring that we're using throughout the house. You know, it's waterproof and what's great about it is that one piece dovetails into another through a little groove like that. So really this is the only bit of the house left that needs any kind of flooring except for that little piece over there. And what Tony tries to do is think about what materials he needs, not buy too much of it, and then if he needs a little more the next time around, he orders it to finish up these little projects so we don't have a lot of waste. Now, speaking of waste, he saved every one of these pieces from the floor joists, the ceiling joists. These two by 10 pieces will come in handy later in the project, but right now he's using them for bracing so nothing goes to waste. So as you'll recall, when we put the roof decking on, we used a thermal radiant barrier product that has this aluminum sheeting on the inside. Now look up here. What's gonna happen is we can get a lot of heat buildup in this space between the ceiling of the attic and in that big triangulated space up there. So we're gonna have to vent that and that'll help release a lot of heat during the summer. The idea is to keep this room as cool as possible. So we're doing several things. Like I mentioned, we use this decking for the roof that is great for reflecting radiant heat. And then we use those two by six timbers to give extra depth because that's gonna allow us two more inches of insulation so it should make this a nice cozy place in the winter where it's warm and a nice cool place in the summer when it really heats up outside. Now, if you're enjoying following our progress, tell a friend about it and make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.